How to A-B test Facebook ads. In this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook and how you can A slash B test all of your Facebook ad campaigns. Now, what is A-B testing? A-B testing is basically a split test where, you know, whatever is your first outcome, there's always a second outcome to it as well. So the A-B testing is used not only in marketing or campaigning, but it's a method of comparing two versions of a web page or app against each other to determine which one will perform better. So A-B testing in the form of advertisements is basically you're going to set up two ads and for each niche, you're going to see which one is better. So act to actually A-B test your ads, first of all, you're going to go into your ad creation center. So go over to your ads manager. And in your ads manager, as things loads in, it's going to bring you to your onboarding. Now over here, you're going to go ahead and click on get started. And once you do that, you're going to choose the business you want to run the ad for. You're going to choose the business type. I'm going to go with e-commerce, click on create. Okay. Now, once you click on create, it's going to bring you to your social accounts where you're basically going to onboard and manage all your social accounts. So here, as you can see, it says, welcome loading you into your ad account. Now in our ad account, basically, first of all, there's the campaign creation, which is the general, you know, idea on how we're going to get into this stuff. And after the ad creation, there's your ad AB testing. So basically you're going to create two ads and, you know, get two separate outcomes for those advertisements. All right. And obviously from those two outcomes, you can work along with it pretty well as you keep going on. So let's just wait for the ads manager onboarding to load in. And once that is done, you're pretty much set to go. So here it says to help maintain the integrity of meta advertising, you're going to learn about ads discrimination and all. So I'm going to accept all of that. I'm going to click on done. Now here we're going to give it our page name. So I'm going to call it John coffee. Okay. We're going to write that in and then it asks us to choose up to three categories. So in this, I'm going to go with e-commerce can go with clothes shop or anything like that. And once you do that, you're going to click on next. Now, once you've done all of that here, it's going to ask you to choose your goal. You know, whatever your goal is with your ad creation that can be decided from this section. Okay. And you know, deciding it is pretty fun and easy. So here it says, let's create your first ad. What is the main goal for this ad? So it could either be online sales. You can find people who are likely to purchase your product or service. It's good for website purchases, e-commerce, sales through Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Okay, so you can either go with this or you can see more options like awareness of your brand or location where you can show your ads to people who are likely to be interested in your brand or visit your store location, which is broader audience reach, brand recognition, and you can store your location awareness. Then we have online traffic where you can basically send people to your website, app, Instagram, profile, Facebook event, or other destination. And again, it's good for website visits, landing page views, messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp clicks. We have messages and engagement where you can get people to send you a message, watch a video, engage with your post or respond to an event invitation. Again, this is good for messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp chats video and post clicks, pages, likes, followers, Facebook events, RSVPs, and a whole lot more. And we have leads. So in leads, you can collect contact information and other details from people who may be interested in your business or brand. It's pretty good for form submissions, messenger and Instagram leads, signups, and phone calls. Then you can also get more people using your app where you can find people to install and use your app. It's pretty good for app visits, app installs, and in-app purchases as well. So once we've got an idea of that, we're going to go ahead over to the onboarding. And here, as you can see, it's going to tell you to choose a campaign setup for your first ad. I'm going to go with the default setup that they give us, and I'm going to click on create campaign. Now, once you click on create campaign, you can see it starts welcoming you and loads you into your ads account. So once our ad account is fully loaded up, what we're going to do over here is we're actually going to go into our AB testing to set up our ad. Okay. So here we have our campaigns. All right. And in our campaigns, it's going to give us a set of all these things and all these campaigns that we can, you know, set up for ourselves. You can also go over to your account overview and in your account overview, it gives you a general idea on how your account's campaigning goes on. What is the amount you've spent on campaigning and a whole lot more now, generally, you know, to do stuff like this, you are going to want to make sure that whatever campaign that you create or choose for yourself, it needs to be AB tested. So. 
here is your A-B testing option. So to get this surrounded for yourself, you're gonna click on A-B test. And once you click on A-B test here, it's gonna say help improve ad performance with A-B testing. Compare versions with different images, text, audiences, or other settings to see what works best. They will make sure that nobody sees more than one version for better accuracy. You can choose what to test where you can copy an existing campaign or ad set or compare published ones. You can select test settings where this includes duration and key metrics, which are what we'll use to determine a winner. You can also get results where you'll get an email with results. You can also track progress and manage your test by going on to experiments. So let's say I'm going to click on get started here. It says, how do you want to set up your test? Either you can make a copy of an ad or you can select two existing ads. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of an ad. I'm going to come here and here it says, which ads do you want to use? You can go ahead and choose an ad. Here it says existing campaigns or existing ad sets. What do you want? Okay, so you can search for a campaign. Obviously my campaign is currently a draft, but you can pretty much add it over here. And what it does is it compares those campaigns and ads with each other. It sees which one is better for its approval, for its export. And you know, according to that, it analyzes what you need to do proper A-B testing. Okay, that is how easy and simple it is. Now you're obviously gonna wanna make sure whatever you're A-B testing, your basic campaigns that are needed to A-B test are you know not in draft or anything like that. They are fully exported and they're fully good to go, okay? That is what you're gonna want to make sure. So, you know, go over to these, uh, you know, advertisements over here and make sure that they're fully exported and fully out into your Facebook. So, you know, in future, whenever you choose to add campaign, you know, they have a proper comparing method between the two proper fully loaded and fully going on campaigns. Okay. And do know this, that you can do AB testing for campaigns with different motives or different goals. So let's say if one campaign has a goal of engagement and the other campaign has a goal of drive or reach, they will, will not and cannot be AB tested. So do make sure that both their goals are similar. So yeah, this is how you are gonna be A-B testing all of your Facebook ads in one place in the easiest and most simplest way. Now you saw that I took you through all the steps that you need to go with. You know, I created the account, connected the Metapixel, and after all of that, we went ahead and you know took our ad campaign or whatever campaign we had, and we did an A-B testing on it. And again, A-B testing is really simple because it's just, two different parts of the same category. So there's one ad with two different templates and obviously you test out those templates differently. That is A-B testing and it works incredibly when it comes into, you know, actual working workplaces or, you know, uh, businesses. So this is truly a great feature for you. And I definitely urge you to use this for your ventures. And also do make sure that when you're doing A-B testing, the two templates that you create do have to make sure that they need to be as same as possible, but at the same time, the features in them should be relatively different. And obviously it might be confusing, you know, how do you keep them same and different at the same time? Trust me, it is not that difficult. You're just gonna want to go ahead and make sure that, you know, the general association between your ad placements and your marketing should be the same. So do make sure to have a good idea of this and do your AB ad testing. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And if you have any issues with this video, do let me know and I will answer those issues. So then that is all from me and I'm going to be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great and incredible day. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.